Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to do error handling in SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to handle and log the errors to SQL Server tables in SSIS. In an ETL process, error handling is a basic requirement to manage the process. So for example, if you create a SSIS package and if you execute the package from Visual Studio and if the package fails, then you can easily know that what is the error and how you can fix it. And for example, if you have created the SSIS package and you have deployed the SSIS package to a production server, then you don't have a control like if the package will fail, then there should be a mechanism to log the errors to some destination. So either you can log the errors to a SQL server table or you can log the errors to a flat file as well. But it's easy to manage the errors if they are stored in a SQL server table. In this particular video tutorial, I will show you how we can handle the errors using the on error event and we will log the errors to a SQL server table. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location, I got a file test data underscore one dot CSV and I will be loading this particular file to a test table in the SQL server database and I will share all these scripts with you, the error logs script and the test data and I will also share this CSV file with you so you can download it from the link in the description of the video so that you can test it in your environment as well and I will be using the error underscore logs SQL server table here to log the errors so let me just give you a brief description of the columns that I am using in the error logs table so the first column is the ID which is of identity type it will just store the incremental values so the second column name is machine name so it will store the machine name on which the SSIS package is running so for example if your SSIS package is running on the development server then it will store the name of the development machine and if the package has been deployed and running to the production server then it will log the production server name now the third column is the package name so it will actually log the package name the package that got filled so you can easily identify that which package got filled actually and the next one is the task name so it will log the name of the task the task that got actually filled in the SSIS package now the next one is error code and here we will store the error code from the error and this is the most important one error description so here we will actually store the actual error message in this particular column and the last column is the dated so we will store the time when an SSIS package actually got filled so we can easily identify that when a package was filled so let me open the SSIS package so this is my blank SSIS package I will be showing you how we can do the error handling so first of all let me just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and let me just configure the data flow task so it can load a CSV file from the D files location to a test table in my SQL server database so let me just configure the data flow task because our file is CSV so I'll be using the flat file source here let me configure the flat file source here click new to create a new flat file connection manager I will call my connection manager as flat file and let me just browse the file file type is CSV so I will select CSV from here and then I will select the file click open and now if you preview the data so data seems good here you can click on ok ok and now because I want to write my data into a SQL server table so I will be using the OLEDB destination now I can connect the flat file source with the OLEDB destination and I can configure the OLEDB destination here I can click new to create a new connection I want to create my table into the work database so I already have a connection here that I will select click ok from data access mode I will select table overview fast load so that it will do a bulk insert and my table name is test so I will select the test table from here you can go to the mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped to the destination column so this is good I can click ok and now let me execute the SSIS package so this should load the data from a CSV file to a SQL server table alright so the package ran fine and it has loaded 30 records to the SQL server table and let me go back to the SSMS and let me try to see the data here so you can see that the 30 records has been loaded now let me just truncate this table for now truncate table test alright so the table has been truncated and let me try to fill the SSIS package okay right now the location of the flat file is hard coded so what I will do now let me just change the name of the file so that the file won't be found by the SSIS package and the SSIS package will fail. So if I rerun the SSIS package now it should fail. So you can see that the package got failed. 
on the data flow task and uh, yeah so let me just see what is the error message so this is the error that cannot open the data file this one okay right now if you don't have a error handling implemented in your ssis package then you won't be able to find it of course i know that if you have scheduled the ssis package using a sql agent job then you can find it from the history of the job but you won't find it anywhere else like maybe in a sql server table or in a csv file or something so that's why it's suggested that ideally you should have a error handling in each and every ssis package okay so let me stop the execution of the ssis package and let me just name the data flow task something more descriptive so that we know that if the package failed that this particular task has been failed okay so i will call it as load test data csv file to sql server table okay so this is the name of the data flow task now before going to next step what we actually need to do we need to just make sure that this particular task or any other task in the ssis package is not selected if any task is selected then you just need to left click in the control flow so that none of the task is selected okay and as soon as you do that now you need to go to the event handlers and from the event handlers you can just make sure that on the left side on the executables your ssis package is selected not any other task okay so you can select your ssis package from here on the left side and you can click on ok now on the right side under event handler there are multiple events like on pre execute on post execute but there is on error as well so we will select on error from here and then we will click on this particular link click here to create an on error event handler so now here we can write the code to log the error so we will be using the execute sql task so we can just drag and drop the execute sql task to this location and maybe we can call the execute sql task as log error and then i can just configure the this particular task so under connection i will select the connection manager here to which connection i want to log the error and my error log table exists in the same connection which is the work database connection so i will be using the same connection here now i need to go to the expressions and uh, i need to click on these three dots from the property i need to select sql statement source and i need to click on these three dots and maybe i can maximize this one i can put a double quote and the double quote as well and now what we need to do we need to write an insert query here okay so let me just try to write an insert query here insert into let me copy the table name and what i can do i can write values first column that needs our input is the machine name so i will write maybe machine name here the second column is package name so maybe i can write package name now the third column is task name so i can write task name here next column is error code so i can write zero and then the next column is error description so i will write error description here and then the last column is the get date i mean the date on which the package got filled now let me just simply copy this particular query from here and let me just paste it in this particular expression and then we need to replace these values from the system variables and i will share the expression with you so that you can use it in your environment if you want now instead of the machine name we need to put the machine name value from a system variable so i need to put a double quote plus plus double quote now between the two plus sign we need to drag and drop the system variable so you can expand the variables and parameters from here and then you can expand the system variables from here so there is a system variable machine name so you can just drag and drop the machine name into this particular location same thing we need to do for the package name so we can put a double quote plus plus double quote and now between the two plus sign we need to drag and drop the package name here the next one is the task name so we need to just put double quote plus plus double quote and then we need to drag and drop the source name here so this will tell you the task which actually got filled now instead of zero we need to put double quote plus plus double quote and we need to drag and drop the error code here so i can just drag and drop the error code so if you notice that before the source name and before the package name we are actually uh, inserting it in a single quote and then double quote and then ending with a double quote and then single quote because it's a string value but for the integer values we don't need to put it in a single quote 
it will be inserted in a double quote so this is how you can get the actual value but in SSIS expression if you are using a integer column then you need to type cast it to a string column so to do that what we need to do we can just type cast like dt underscore wstr and then the length of the error codes maybe I can put 12 here so this is how you can type cast the error code and now the most important one is the error description so we can put double quote plus plus double quote and then between the two plus sign we need to just drag and drop the error description so we can just drag and drop the error description from the system variables and now we can click on evaluate expression so this seems good here and I can click ok 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 so now let me execute the SSIS package and when the SSIS package will fail so it should log the error description all the details to the SQL server table so the package got filled and if you click on the event handler so you will notice that log error task has also got executed successfully because there is a green sign here and let me go back to the SSMS and try to fetch data from the error log so let me just write select star from error logs and if I execute the query so you can see that this is the machine name and this is the package name and task name error code and this is the error description that cannot open the data file d file test data underscore one and this is the time when the SSIS package got filled so this is how you can actually log the errors in a SQL server table there is one important thing that while inserting the error description values to the SQL server table you should replace the single code the reason is because if there will be single quote in the error description then your task like the log error task will fail <laughs> itself okay so let me show you what I'm talking about so first of all let me just um, put the actual name here test data underscore one and rerun the SSIS package so that the data should be loaded to the test table okay 30 records should be loaded so the package ran fine and if the package will run fine then this event handler on error won't be executed log error it won't be executed it will be executed only if the SSIS package got failed okay so right now if you see 30 records has been loaded and uh, let me just try to fetch data from the test table so you can see that the data got loaded here and now let me just try to update one of the row here update test set first name equal to blank where id equal to 1 okay so for example if i execute this query so the query ran fine and it has blanked out the first name for the first row so if i somehow if i put a character here like a and if i try to execute this query so you will find that there is an error incorrect syntax near single quote a single quote okay so if this kind of error will occur then ssis package will fail so let me just try to copy this particular query from here and let me stop the execution of the SSIS package and let me just drag and drop the execute SQL task into the control flow window and I can connect the data flow task with the execute SQL task and maybe I can call it as update data and make a connection to the work database and I can paste the query here okay because there can be any kind of error that can occur in the SSIS package so I want to log all the errors so if I put this query here click ok ok and for example if I rerun the SSIS package then the package will fail on the execute SQL task and if you go back to the event handlers and select the package from here so you will see that the log error task got failed itself okay so it has not logged any error and if you go back to the error log so you won't find any new records here but the package was failed okay so to handle this particular thing what you need to do is that you can stop the execution of the package right click on the log error go to the expressions expressions and open the expression now what you need to do that in the error description you need to replace the single quote with a blank string or maybe something else but I will replace it with the blank string so what I can do is so I can use an replace function replace and then I need to put a comma double quote single quote double quote comma double quote empty string double quote and then end the bracket okay if you click on the string function so there is a string function replace here okay so that function I'm using here this is the function that I'm using that in a particular string we can search for the string and then we can put a new string that we want to put so we are actually replacing the single quote with a blank string so now this is good it will replace the single quote with a blank string and your package won't fail so now you can click on okay 
okay and i will share this expression with you so that you can use it in your environment so let me just read on the ssis package and this time the error should be logged okay so this executes equal task ran fine and it got failed on the second task so let me go back to the ssms and see that there should be new error logged to the sql server table so if i run the select query from here so now you can see that we got a new entry id number three and the package got failed on the update data task and this is the error description that executing the query update set this one failed with the following error so you can copy the error from here and maybe paste it here so you can see the actual error message that update test set first name equal to this one failed with this particular error incorrect syntax near a so we have replaced this single quote with a blank string so this is the actual error message okay so this is how you can do the error handling here in the SSIS package and uh, right now we are just using the execute SQL task to log the errors. So here you can also use the send mail task and you can send the emails on the package failure and in the send mail task in the message source you can actually use the error description there so that you know that this is the actual error and maybe in the subject of the email you can send the package name or the server name on which this is filling okay so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much